Hey, in this demonstration, I'm going to show you how to use the color sensor to get the EV3 to respond to different colors. You can do things like stop at a color. You can speed up at a color. You can make turns when you see a color. And so there's a lot of uses we can, we can do with the color sensor. So first thing I want to show you is how to recreate this block right here. What this block is going to tell us to do is going to say the robot is going to start moving when the program starts. And what this move block here does is it takes the two motors and it separates them left and right. And since they're both going at the same speed at 50%, that would tell us that the robot is going to go perfectly straight. If one of these numbers was higher than the other, it would veer to one side or the other. The next block here is going to be found under the sensors and uh, it's right here and it says here to wait until the color is. Okay, so what this essentially means here is this number three is the port that your color sensor is plugged into. And as we can see uh, on here, um, my color sensor is in port number three. So that's why I have chosen port number three. And I'm going to look at the colors that are available. And the one I want is red because I have a piece of red tape that's on the floor that I would like the robot to stop at. So what this program is going to allow me to do is it's going to go until it sees the color red and then it's going to stop moving. And that would be found under movements, just like so. So the first one that I used was to take the two motors and move them simultaneously like this. Okay. And the way I started this program was when the program starts. So that's, that's where I found the start button. I found the move option under movement. And the color sensor is found under sensors. And then the stop moving again was found under movement. So in essence, this is going to start moving forward when the program starts until it sees the color red, and then it's going to stop. And that's basically the color sensor and how you access the color sensor blocks. In the next demonstration, I'll be showing you how to use the arm that raises and lowers in order to move an object. Until next time, have fun.